Capricorn, now is the time for success, okay? Now is the time that you are going to really step into that energy of, I always knew I could get this, I always knew I could do this, and now I'm doing it. But you have to be a little bit careful about how far you take this, whatever it is, whatever you're working on, whatever relationship you're in, whatever this is about for you, there's a little bit of a caution here because you could go overboard. Because what people don't really understand, I feel, about Capricorns is once they get momentum, you know, they're very stir sturdy, stable, reliable, dependable, right? Kind of going at a pace. But once you get going, you go. You go, go, go. <laughs> go, 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 I heard. <laughs> So the, I heard Inspector Gadget too. Okay, so once you start going, you really go with it. There's no turning back for you. You don't want to do things twice because you worked hard to get where you're going. I'm going to pull out cards for your spread of who I am, who I am now and where I am going is the name of the spread. But I pulled out some Oracle cards just to see where we're at right now. And in the past, I got the Void. Okay, so you were in some kind of dark place, Capricorn. Not seeing your work come to light, not seeing your relationships come to light, like everything you thought you were working for just felt like nothing, okay? There was like a big nothingness here. Maybe a void in your life. You felt like there was something you couldn't fulfill, something you couldn't do. I see this as a very kind of dark time. But thankfully, it's in the past. In the present, we have harvest moon. This was the dark moon. Harvest moon, fruition. Look at that. It's like you went from this place of like, I don't know why I'm here. Why, why am I in this dark place? To now seeing your abundance come in, now seeing your dreams being actualized and all of your hard work is beginning to grow. And it all started from this very, um, I want to say, unique individual seed you planted there's something you did all by yourself with nobody's help that has begin begun to grow beginning to grow begun to grow the moon is still here though so there's still a, a cast of light from the moon that makes things kind of murky you're not really sure where this is going. You're seeing it grow, but you're not exactly sure what's going to happen from here, where you're going. How is this affecting your life? Now for the future, this is where that caution comes in. I got the hot moon. <laughs> Extremes. Extremes. Okay, so this is what I'm saying that you're building, you're growing, but there's a tendency for you to narrow in and focus too much on one thing, one part of your project, one aspect of your work, work, one aspect of your life, like work and not relationships or relationships over work. There's something that you're leaning towards in this moment. It's subject to change, of course. Energies are always changing. But in this moment, you're, you're leaning towards this fiery energy of I'm just gonna go with it without really sitting in my Capricorn energy of like really you know hold on I gotta plan this out because something's exciting you and that's a good energy to have but when you go from the void to an extreme that can be a little bit jarring there's something you might miss I heard someone, someone you might miss. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. I'm, I'm also getting, oh, magician with the ace of wands. See, you've done something. You've manifested something, a new passion, a new opportunity. Okay, there's something fiery that's happening. For some of you, whatever's coming to fruition, it is going to go into the extreme in terms of it either growing exponentially or falling. Okay, so the growth or the fall is going to depend on how you've stepped into this energy of manifesting. Is it coming from a place of anxiety 
Or is it coming from a place of confidence and ability? I heard, don't let Mercury retrograde bung you up. <laughs> That's literally what I heard. <laughs> Interesting, Capricorn. I just, two cups just fell out. Okay, so talking to other people is going to be important. Having a relationship with someone else, uh, it can be romantic, it can be in another way, but this is important, okay? Don't go all quiet on me, I heard. Don't go all quiet on me, Capricorn. Okay, so let's pull out these cards for you and see what's going on. Ooh, all right. I have, if you see me looking over here, it's because I just have that spread laid out here. So the next position, this is what I don't know about myself. What does Capricorn not know about themselves? I'll put that all of those on top. What does Capricorn need to relinquish? Okay. What does Capricorn need to develop? What does Capricorn want to overcome? <laughs> Your own energy, it looks like. What is Capricorn's current quest? Ooh, that came out quickly. Where will this all lead for Capricorn? Where will this all lead for Capricorn? Ooh, interesting. Okay, I think we're gonna have to clarify that last one. Okay, so. Who are you right now? Five of Pentacles. See, it's like you're seeing something coming coming up. Like here's the, the growth. And I'm seeing that over this rotten apple, like over this void, right? You're finally experiencing this growth over this void, over something that felt like a, a rotten or a hollow endeavor, a hollow core, like something was off. And now you're seeing this growth, but there's a little bit of a... I'm on my own energy, but that two of cups falling out is telling me you need to, har I heard harmonize with someone else. Don't go at this totally alone. That seems to be the extreme here actually that I'm seeing with the rest of the cards that, fall out, that fell out. Interesting, I was gonna say that fall out into the future. So I do believe this is changeable energy, Capricorn. Okay, so this is what you don't know about yourself. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords with the Ace of Wands. That sometimes you act on a new project, on financial gain and security based on anxiety. Okay, sometimes... That's your greatest strength when you feel that way, that you see an opportunity coming, but you get anxious. That's your greatest strength because it allows you to act on it. At other times, you're acting from this place of anxiety and that manifestation gets a little, I heard, crumpled up. It's pretty confusing actually because it's kind of mixed in together. It's like you have new opportunities. You have two aces here. Uh, for what you don't know about yourself. You have these two beautiful energies available to you. Something tangible, new energy for something tangible to come in and doing something about it. And sitting in between, we have the nine of swords. Anxiety. So how is your anxiety about these new things, these new energies, these new projects, these new people, whatever it is, this new passion you have that's actually starting to materialize how does this anxiety affect you and affect your manifestation? You're almost like uh, ignoring the anxiety so that it doesn't seep into your manifestation, but you need to deal with it because ignoring it isn't going to make it go away or solve it. It's just going to push it down further. So you need to bring it out and deal with it. And that's probably the two of cups is to talk to someone in order to harmonize the energy of a new start and the anxiety that comes along with new starts, new beginnings. OK, 
Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini because Gemini's reading kind of had similar energy or maybe you have it in your chart. You don't have to be though. Or you might want to check that reading out. Um, the second one I did for Gemini. Okay, so what do you need to relinquish? King of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. Hmm. Some of you need to relinquish your seriousness, right? And have some fun. You know, I heard all work and no play makes Capricorn a dull goat, <laughs> okay? So there's a little bit of that in there that you need to relinquish that. But I heard less stereotypical, okay, less stereotypical for Capricorn is you need to figure out a way that you can have fun uh, in and as a sense of security. Interesting. So maybe you want to combine your hobby with your job or there's some kind of social aspect that you want to pull into your sense of security or your abundance so that you can harmonize those. For some of you, I'm hearing, see that it's like, this is why I'm saying that Gemini energy, it's like a back and forth. It's like everything that I say and suggest you to do, then I hear the reverse of it. So it's either a balancing of the two or it's just a different message for different people. I'm also hearing, or or it's Capricorn needs to learn what resonates. Capricorn, le I heard, learns their intuition. You need to lean on your intuition a little bit more. Because the other thing I heard with these two cards is that for some of you, you need to stop expecting that everybody in your environment is equally interested and invested in the same things you are. Not everybody has that same drive or that same focus. And that's okay. That's okay. All right. Now, what do you need to develop? We have judgment with eight of wands. Making quick decisions. <laughs> making quick decisions Capricorn this is probably where that anxiety comes in is because you have this opportunity you see the opportunity but you want to be very calculated and secure about how you go at it and this is beautiful this is a beautiful energy this is what makes you the pillar of strength but at this time for this reading right now you need to make quick decisions because I was thinking originally when this extreme card came out for the future, this was an extreme of like, you might uh, go overboard, go, 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 go. But now I'm seeing the go, go, go as like going into this like very isolated place by yourself. It's like needing to make a decision on something so that you don't get caught there. Hmm, there's a sense of confusion here. There, there really is a sense of confusion. And that's probably why this is what you need to develop is this fast moving energy to communicate with other people and make decisions quickly. Because the extreme is either sitting in this energy of I need to go, 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 or you just like, it's like you're, I don't know how to explain this. It's like you're, well, I'll just show you where you're leading, where you're heading right now is the hermit. Okay, so I'm, it's like the extreme, it, it, hermit, being a hermit is an extreme. And this is where that energy is leading you right now. And it comes from this sense of anxiety and doubt, like this nine of swords, five of pentacles, and, and the void energy is still sitting with you where it's like you don't fully trust that you can... Um, maintain whatever it is that you're moving towards or whoever it is that you're moving towards. And so the extreme is like you're go, go, going into more and more of a hermit place, despite your best efforts not to. 
So it's about communication. And so, for some of you, it's about communicating with people who've been around for a while uh, and reconnecting with people. Okay. I can feel the kind of anxiety though, because I'm hearing, I don't have time for that. Like I have to do this. I want to do this. I'm, I want to work, you know, this is my strength. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know there's an extreme, but I'm not going to go to the extreme. But it's a very I centered place right now without looking at who is around you or what is around you. And when you go into that I centered place, even though you're trying to build stability for others around you, you could fall into this hermit mode, which would lead you right back into that void, which is where your anxiety is. So you don't want to do that. Or I don't think you do. Okay, so what you'd love to become, we have four of wands. Why am I pausing so much here? Well, and then we have four of pentacles staring at me over here, which is your energy. This is a Capricorn card. So you'd like to be, now, okay, it's interesting because four of wands readers typically say uh, security, stability, the home um, can be marriage, right? But that seems more of like a four of pentacles kind of vibe, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't that feel very earthy, those kinds of words? It feels very Capricorn-y. <laughs> Capricorn-y. <laughs> feels very Capricorn-like, right? But it's not pentacles. It's wands. Wands are fire and passion. So it's building some kind of struct structure. What was I going to say there? Slide or something. Building some kind of structure based on passion kind of letting some of the earth energy go into fire i'm seeing like a bunch of fire kind of um or a bunch of earth kind of almost like a volcano but not quite it's like the earth is cracking open and out comes this fire and it's from that fire that something grows so what you'd love to become is stable, secure, is, you know, having all of those things, but having them with passion, not being like a drag about it, right? Not being like um, closed off. You want this to expand you. You want expansion. Your current quest is the Queen of Wands, another fire card. You want people to respect you, not, on, not just for your security and your sense of stability and like how many readings do you hear about that Capricorn, right? It gets a little old. Capricorns need to have fun too. Capricorns can get wild. Hello, look at the devil card, right? So, but it is about the material, the devil card. It's about the material. It's about something tangible, but let, let, let's just, Put that aside for a second. Capricorns can get wild, okay? They have a wild streak. I'm gonna say it. So this is where you're going towards that quest of being a little bit more carefree. I wanna say on the outside, but not letting go of this stability really. It's not like I'm moving from one to the next. It's like I'm gonna embody both. I'm gonna embody, yeah, look at this. I'm gonna embody this ace of uh, coins with this energy of the four of coins, stability, earth energy, etc. Everybody knows me for this and I'm, that's still there inside of me. That's who I am. But where I'm really stepping into and nobody really expects it out of me, this red fire energy is this ace of wands with this queen of wands. And so maybe this is the sense of anxiety because you're, you feel like maybe you're leaving behind this earth kind of grounded, stable energy and everyone's looking at you like, Capricorn, what are you doing? Like, wow, Capricorn, you did something kind of unconventional there. And you're like, yeah, 
wake up, that's who I really am. So it's something like that. So it is this four of pentacles sense of security vibe, but with passion, with fire. For some of you, you are wanting to connect with and build something stable and solid with a queen of wands, not gender specific, but somebody who is very, I heard excitable, someone you're very sexually attracted to, somebody who brings joy and energy into life, someone who enchants you, someone who is not as stable, I heard, as all the rest. And I don't mean that they're unstable in, in a kind of um, scary way. I just mean that their energy is more mutable. They're willing to kind of go on a ride with you. Whereas other people in your life kind of depend on you or want something specific out of you and you feel like it's kind of caging you in. Okay, so you want this kind of stability, this passionate stability, the stability of mutability. Cool. I like that. That you know you can be who you want with somebody and they don't expect something of you. They don't expect the same old, same old. All right. Now, this hermit card, we need clarification here. Should I use the same deck? Yeah, okay. Because where you're going is the hermit. So I want to know why. Why are you heading to this? What like what's leading you there? What is leading you there? Yeah, yeah, eight of swords. Exactly. It's this anxiety. It's getting stuck in your own thoughts about what's expected of you. Um, if you have the capability to follow your passion. Can you break out of this mold that either you've put yourself in or others have put yourself in? That's what's leading you to the hermit. So how can we overcome this? Well, we had um, what you need to relinquish and we already have what you need to develop. So let's say Capricorn does develop this Eight of Wands judgment energy, this quick moving energy that you are making the right decisions for yourself. And in doing so, you're making the right decisions for others. It's also an energy, Eight of Wands, of communication with others. Okay, and you know, what? what is sometimes I feel mixed up is that we talk about the Eight of Wands in terms of uh, communication, like oh, someone's gonna call you, text you, whatever. But they're not re they're not they're not really swords. They're not swords at all. They're wands. It's an energy. It's passion. It's like force. It's like we're you're gonna break out. You're gonna do things. You're gonna have relations with people. You're gonna just do things. Okay. You're gonna get a little wild in, in whichever way that means to you. It could be with one person, right? but you're going to do something wild. That is what you need to develop, right? So it, don't think about the eight of wands as you need to develop like communication, like talking, 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 talking. It's not that, it's passion. It's that joie de vivre, I heard. It's the joie de vivre. Getting out of your own head about things and into the energy of other people. That's how I'm feeling this eight of wands is putting yourself at the center of this energy of other people as a way to kind of invigorate you and boost you. Okay, so if Capricorn does that, then what? Then seven of cups, then the possibilities are endless, limitless possibilities into the future. I heard you can have it all, you can have anything. The hangman, a new perspective on life. The seven of cups with the hangman is a total shift in reality, a total shift in perspective. Okay, and where would this lead? It's almost not wanting to tell me. Six of wands, and I saw that at the bottom before I shuffled. Six of wands, recognition. Here's that wand energy again. Valor, victory ambition, chasing that dream and getting that dream and everybody seeing that and everybody respecting you. But most important, you respecting you because you grabbed, you took hold of this Ace of Wands. 
And I'm, the book that has the spread I'm looking at has an, a hand grabbing a wand right on the page, okay? So it's taking this ace of wands and going for it. And you feeling accomplished that you did it. You did it despite what people expected out of you. You went for your passion. But remember, do not isolate yourself in this because it's going to be tempting because you're gonna have opposition. And you're gonna have some judgments. People are gonna judge you based on whatever choices you're making next. I heard, but you got this, baby. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that helped. I'll see you next time.